All right, hey Leo. So I'm doing a singles read for you guys. And the intention I, I set was for new love. Um, meaning that you've never had a commitment with this person before. Okay, so keep that in mind, please. Um, you're going to know this is your read by the energy that you are sitting in right now and your situation. So if that does not resonate, check your other placements. And if you're new, welcome. I do hope you guys will subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. So let's see what energy you are in. The Three of Cups is a depiction of wanting to come into union. It's wanting to have somebody. It's wanting to hold somebody. All right. The Page of Wands is, I feel, um, it is, um, it's curiosity. That's what I feel. You're curious about the future when it comes to your love life. All right. And the Page of Wands also depicts a spiritual journey. And I'm not trying to make it super um, spiritual in case a lot of, you know, in case you're not spiritual, but it is a spiritual journey. It's a new beginning. So you're, you're embarking on a new journey when it comes to life, no matter what. With the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like you're just kind of leaving it up to fate, to God, to the angels, to whoever and however you believe. You're just leaving it up to the universe. Um, it's going to happen when it happens. And I feel like that's a really good uh, mentality to be in um, because we don't want to rush. Um, we, you can't rush. You don't want to rush the energy that I feel you're in because it's really, really positive. All right. The Wheel of Fortune card um, to me says that you have been praying um, for a good connection to come through you, you, your, your heart craves unity. All right. And I feel like with that page of swords, you're not discounting anything that comes through. It's removal of self-limiting beliefs, freeing the spirit and discovering your own potential. All right. This is, um, it's new. You're ready for it. So let's see if there's anything that you need to release when it comes to your life in order to call this in. So we have the hanging man. Okay, so what you, yeah, here's what I'm going to say. I don't feel like you're holding on to anything of the past too significantly, but what you need to do is realize that love is not an illusion, okay? Um, you need to put your heart in the space that says I'm calling it in and it belongs to me and it's mine. The reason why I'm saying that is because you've had hurts and pains and traumas in the past, um, but what spirit is telling you is to turn around. You got to turn around, turn your thinking around. All right. Don't, don't look at the past. Don't really, I want to tell you, don't even look to the future. Just be in the present moment. All right. Because when we live in the, in the past, we kind of hold on to depression or we have that potential to suffer through dep depression. And when we're looking in the future, we have the, um, the capability of possibly holding on to anxiety. All right. And, but if we're here in the now, we're just here in the now and we're enjoying that time. So really, it's a, you've been hurt before. All right. And what you need to let go of is, is, is the doubt that, that love is an illusion that, you know, it's uncertainty when it comes to love. And that's what you need to release uncertainty. It's almost like you've already been through it and you've been hurt before and it scares you. All right. To fall in love. You have the lover's card coming through. So you've had deep, you've had a deep love. And it's not even that I feel like you're, um, even with the five of cups, I don't even feel like you're holding on to this love. What I feel like you're holding on to is the illusion of what you've once had and the possibility of, of it just being lost because you felt that and you're just not given the universal, you know, it's like, it's, I don't even know how to say it because in one instance you are, you're waiting for the universe to kind of flip fate for you, flip fate for you. But on the other notion too, the hangman is illusion, it's uncertainty and it's delusion. And it's almost like, you know, um, I'm going to trust in the process, but I've already trusted in it once and it kind of bit me in the ass. You know what I mean? So if you're holding on to any resentments when it comes to the past, um, even if it's just the illusion of love itself, it's time to let that go. And that's what your spirit guides want you to focus on. Okay. So let's see who's coming towards Leo. Who is coming towards you? Leo. The Ace of Coins. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming through. This is a definitely a new dynamic. This is a brand new dynamic. This is a, a new person coming through. All right. Um, so here's what I'm going to say. The person coming towards you, I feel... Um, focus on the signs. Okay. Not the, not the, the dynamic because I'm going to read it differently. Um, Pisces. All right. With the eight of cups. 
So the person coming towards you, I feel is simply coming towards you with this eight of cups energy. I don't feel like it has anything to do with the past because what we have is um, the ace of coins. I feel like this person too is kind of walking away from their past, leaving their past in beh behind, all right, to establish this new beginning, one that's going to be um, more in tune with their what they align with, all right? So Leo, are you focused on money, stability, self-growth, self-love, self-care, your money, your finances, your, you know, I, I have dreams and goals and ambitions and I'm focused on abundance right now. All right. I feel like the person coming towards you has those same, that same mentality, that same mindset. You have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Pisces coming through as far as energy. Um, I feel like this person coming through really has their financial, um, <laughs> They have their financial desires in mind. I do feel like this person is a go-getter when it comes to money, stability, and abundance. I, I just think about the car, the house, the boat, the um, everything when it comes to solid and, st and stable. It doesn't mean that this person's all about money and it doesn't mean that you're attracted to people who are solely money-based, but it does mean that this person is in alignment with what you're feeling and how, how you see things. Um, you know, I, I'm not a Leo person, but I, I can imagine you want comfort, you want stability, you want con connection and commitment. You want the big dream with somebody. You don't want to just keep living life in the unknown, hanging in the balance, hanging in the balance. You don't want, you don't want that. You want the big deal. You want the, the person who's going to come in and help you ach achieve your dreams. All right. This person coming through is not going to have to rely on you in any way, shape or form. You guys will be two individuals that come together all right, and make a whole. And it's not that you need this person to complete you, but you guys do have a lot of the same focus on goals and desires and wishes. And you guys are going to come in and complement each other in that way. And that's what I see. So let's see a little bit more about how this person is, what they're going to be like, who they are. So you could have a Cancer coming through and Aries. Pay attention to the signs, please. Cancer, Aries. And, um, so this is, it's water energy. And even though the card does not depict earth energy, um, I do associate pages with earth energy. So I'm going to say Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. And we have Cancer and we have Aries coming through. So more about what this person is like. So here's what I'm going to say. This person, once you guys come together, um, this is a connection that will be pushed forward. Just know because that will a fortune that's come out in your energy, this is going to be a protected um, connection that comes through. So one that you won't have to fear. All right. The chariot is all about success and more moving forward. And it's all about the expression of emotions just as well. The chariot is a very, very successful card. And the person coming towards you is just going to want to be on that, that same path, that same page, that same goal. Um, the chariot card is, is coming through as a very successful card. All right. The two of wands is coming through because you guys are going to be able to to pick a path once you guys get to know each other, once you guys figure out um, really that you're on the same page when it comes to life and what you want and the how attracted you are to each other and where you guys sit at, you guys are picking a path to move forward when it comes to each other. Um, twin flame uh, type of energy for those that have a desire to have more knowledge about that. So might be something to look forward to um, for you single people who uh, feel that you might be on a twin flame or have wandered that twin flame dynamic. Okay. That's not going to be for everybody, but the two of wands is simply not questioning what path you're supposed to take when it comes to an individual. All right. Um, the page of cups is somebody who's bringing in curiosity, creativeness. Um, this is youth. This is intuition. It's uh, bringing new ideas when it comes to um, your life. This person could actually be quite a bit younger than you. So don't uh, knock that. Okay. Um, this is somebody who's very, very uh, forward thinking with the potential to embody emotional maturity, immaturity at times. All right. It's not a big deal though. That page of cups is somebody who's bringing love. All right. Um, something unexpected to you. Um, think about the romance angels. You know, your soulmate may differ from your usual type. I almost feel like that could be what you're dealing with. All right. Whether it's color, age, race, um, you know, heritage, anything like that. So just keep an open mind on all scales. So let's see what's going on with you guys when this person shows up, how you meet and what the circumstances are. Okay, so right out the gate, 
what I'm going to say is, um, Leo, you need to keep your eyes open. You need to pay attention to everything that's going on around you because I feel like uh, you're blocking it. And it's not that you block this person because you don't know them, right? But I feel like you're blocking the connection from entering. It's like this person could have come and passed you by 20 times and you have not seen them yet. So I feel like what Spirit's saying here is you got to open up your, your eyes, okay? So, um, you know, I feel like you often wonder if love is for you and if you're going to be able to have that uh, dynamic. Um, you got to open your eyes up, pay attention to your surroundings, okay? So I feel like what you could be, you could actually be going through a little blockage phase um, just in your day-to-day -day life. You could be feeling actually blocked from the outside world. You could just, you actually could have um, um, a feeling of blocked ears. Okay, pay attention to all the signs, you guys. The Two of Swords um, is is basically here to show you that there's a there's a bigger dynamic coming, and you could actually be feeling that in your energy zone. That something is about to be lifted when it comes to um, this person entering your life. The tower card coming through, this could be with you or this person. Um, is somebody experiencing some really negative energy when this happens. And this could be going on a month, a week, a day, a couple of days. So this is really negative energy. But what you need to remember with the, the tower card is that the tower card creates um, room for positive moments, positive growth and positive transformation. All right. So what I'm going to say with this tower card is you're not even paying attention to what's going on around you because somebody's having a shitty shit day. It could be you. It could be this person that's having a shitty shit day and maybe they're not paying attention, but you're, you're going to recognize it because you're going to be immediately drawn to this person in that King of Wands energy. It's like, I don't give a shit how bad of a day you're having. I am so attracted to you, your essence, your love, your smell, um, who you are. You have all eyes on you. Um, you are a natural born leader. You're an entrepreneur, possibly. Um, you're somebody who just comes in and instills a spotlight. All right. And they could have a little bit of a hot head energy. Um, the tower card represents Aries. All right. Um, this is Aries. Uh, Aries. Is it Aries and Scorpio? Aries and Scorpio. And look at Sagittarius and Scorpio with the King of Wands. Um, so just pay attention to those energies, Leo. But I feel like somebody's going to be having a pretty rough week, a couple of days, and then boom. All right. The, the queen or the king is going to step in and just be like, OK, we're going to make it all better right now. All right. So that's something really exciting, because you know what? When you're having a shitty day and somebody just comes in that you, you know, that can make you melt down into the floor. I mean, it's a beautiful it's a beautiful feeling. And I feel like that's kind of what's going to be going on around you. So please remember this read when that happens, because I, I want to know all about that day. So let's just see if this is the one. Is this the one for Leo? Is this going to be the one for Leo? Is this the one? Let's see. Temperance. There's your soul connection right there. Temperance. Look at that. We got the soulmate. All right. So have patience. Have patience for this to unfold. Temperance is peace, love. It's harmony. It's bliss. It's understanding. It's patience. And it's also a soul connection. Um, guaranteed with the empress card which is peace it's i mean sorry excuse me love home comfort and security divine feminine energy all right so if that is not um your recognition that this is the one i don't know what is you have the page of swords coming through as new ideas curiosity having a thirst for knowledge and communication um so i feel like you're going to be experiencing all of this with this person and i feel like your two soul connection cards come right here with the empress and temperance so i do feel like this is going to be a lasting partnership for you and this person and it's going to be very very divine it's going to feel really really good and a beautiful essence that kind of just it, it, that just protrudes out of this connection you guys it's beautiful um this is a real real positive read so let's see what your advice is your advice oh my goodness you guys do not fear do not fear your divine counterpart is here you got the emperor card coming through with the six of coins so your advice is just saying your partner is on the way all right, this is going to be something that you very, very much deserve, Leo. Um, balance, success, rewards, divine feminine, divine masculine coming through to build a home that is based off of comfort, stability, love. All right, this is just really, really positive energy, you guys. So yes, 
I really hope you guys will share with me um, who this is for because this is beautiful energy and you guys very much deserve it. You know, I don't I don't do singles reads all the time, but for the Leo reads that I do put out, you guys do get the shit end of the stick a lot. All right, so let's see what your messages are. We have love overcomes all obstacles. A change in attitude is all it takes to turn things around. Trust and love's power. It will transform you and the one you love all will soon clear. And then we have try to look at things from a more feeling level. What is your heart saying? If you look at your life purely through logic, you will always get to a point where it seems to make no sense. True wisdom and understanding reside in the heart. All right, Leo. So let's get some initials. Just know that this is where the read is at. The initials are just the side piece. So let's see who is coming through. This could be you or this person. We have L and S. N and F. P and Z. And X and B. All right, Leo, I'm going to leave it here. You guys take care. Thank you so much for your support. You guys take it easy.